Are you facing any issue to enable data layer on your Shopify store? Then this video is for you. Hey everyone, this is Ubaid here. Welcome to my another new video tutorial. In this video, I will share with you how you can enable uh, data layer on your Shopify store. If you are wanted to track your uh, all of our online store or any e-commerce website data, uh, then you know how much the important is the data layer to enable the data layer on your e-commerce website Be, uh, because if you uh, if you can't enable data layer on your shopify website then you can't track any data without shopify data layer so in this video i will share with you how you can enable it very easily so you know there are lots of uh, shopify apps uh, there are a lot of premium shopify apps uh, built in uh, which is used for uh, sh uh, shopify tracking but you know the problem is most of them are too much costly very expensive as you can see uh, here's the uh, shopify app for data tracking uh, with uh, including data layer and google tag manager with gf4 so everything so this uh, plugin is uh, apps is very expensive as you can see you have to pay 150 uh, per month for this uh, and you can see there are a lot of packages here so but in this video i will show you how you can enable data layer without using any kind of apps so let's get started so so you know what is shopify data layer data layer is one of the most important aspect of data tracking to and analytics to help you to make the most of your tracking experience it will help you to track exactly uh, data from your uh, shopify store and you can uh, and you can check everything of your visitor behavior on your shopify store so basically a uh, data layer is a javascript object that is used to pass information from your website to your uh, google tag manager container you can then use that information to populate variables and activity uh, triggers in your tag configuration which will, which will help you to uh, do remarketing like here is an example as you can see in this uh, picture uh, this is a kind of your Shopify or any e-commerce website like it's your e-commerce website so whenever anyone visit on your Shopify store then uh, there will be a lot of data right uh, if I show an uh, example store here uh, let me show you as you can see this is uh, one of my Shopify store I'm doing uh, for practical work so uh, you can see there are lots of product so uh, all of the products uh, every single product has a uh, lots of uh, data or lot of information like uh, product title and you can see there's a, a product price and product color uh, and there will be a lot of variation so uh, product specification there will be also product uh, description right so there are lots of data so whenever anyone visit on your a store whenever anyone click on um, product uh, whenever anyone uh, click on add to cart or want to uh, purchase the product then you can check or you can track all of this user behavior uh, from the backend uh, using Shopify data layer so Shopify data layer is very important for this without this you can uh, track any data okay so whenever anyone visit on the Shopify uh, store then data layer will help you to track the data from your Shopify store to Google Tag Manager after that you can pass the data to any kind of um, marketing um, platform like uh, you can use it uh, for Facebook uh, marketing and you can send them to GA4 Google Analytics 4 you can use it for Google Ads and etc so we will use the latest uh, Shopify GA4 uh, data layer um, process because there are lots of way to enable data layer but most of them are uh, not working right now so we are using a very latest uh, process to uh, enable data layer uh, without uh, using any app and this is for according to j4 schema which is very helpful for j4 so without further delay let's get started okay so let me show you what happened when we don't have any data layer on our shopify store uh, like our tag uh, tag manager is connected with our shopify store but we don't have any data layer on the shopify store then uh, what happened like whenever we do anything with product like uh, i just added uh, add to cart on this product after that whenever i click on checkout so as you can see uh, you can see there is no data layer like uh, whenever we click on it uh, as you can see there is no data layer but whenever we uh, enable the data layer in our shopify store after that you can uh, add after that we will get a lot of data in this data layer so let's do this so uh, we have to do some process as you know that uh, for this we need a google tag manager so we have a you just need to visit on tagmanager.google.com after that uh, you just need to create a, a container which is very very easy process as you know that just uh, click a uh, container and uh, you have to just uh, set up a name 
after that you can click a container like this way very easily so whenever you click a container then you will get a code here like this way uh, there will be a two code so we have to use this code uh, on our Shopify store to connect our Google Tag Manager account with Shopify so let's do this so okay before applying any code you can uh, back up your uh, store from here just click on duplicate so that uh, you can uh, duplicate uh, all of your store data here so we uh, back up a file uh, uh, of my Shopify store it will help me to recover if I face any issue with the data so you can also do this before applying any code on your Shopify store so now let's do this just click on edit code after that click on edit code So there will be a lot of file you just need to click on theme.liquid file and after that I uh, go there and uh, copy the Google Tag Manager base code from here and here is an instruction for you I already created a premium doc file for you uh, where you will get all of the guidelines very easily uh, step by step it will help you to do the all of the process very easily and I will provide the, uh, the link uh, on the video description box okay so our step one is to install google tag manager base code on shopify so for this you need to go to online store theme action edit code layout theme.liquid file as i already did it you can see i just uh, visited to theme.liquid file now we need to uh, put the gtm base code directly to the uh, opening hashtag so let's do this okay so i just copy the gtm base code from here and uh, let me uh, paste it to the uh, after the hat tag here is the hat tag I just paste it here after that you can also uh, there is another one code uh, this is called additionally paste this code immediately after the opening body tag we can also do this so let's do this on the body tag so go to the, our Shopify backend and uh, to find the body tag very easily click on hat tag uh, double click on hat tag then here is the closing hat tag after that this one is for body tag just place this code uh, opening body tag after the body tag okay then click on save all right so our uh, step one is complete here now go to the step two as you can see i already uh, there are, uh, is a screenshot um, guideline so that you can do this process very easily and if you face any issue i'm here to help you you just contact me uh, for any kind of support okay so our step two is create the data layer of all pages snippet use exact naming okay so we need to create a, a snippet the name will be data layer all pages so uh, how you can do this uh, just uh, visit the shopify theme dot uh, shopify backend again and you can see there are uh, some folder here uh, named snippet click on it and click on add a new snippet first uh, make sure that you have to click uh, the snippet uh, from here okay click on add new snippet after that the name should be look like this exactly same name data layer all pages and click on done you will get the name here you just need to copy from there and uh, create a snippet like this way so we need to uh, implement a code here so how you will get the code you just click on it after that it will open a doc file so you just need to copy the whole code from here so you can see there is a very uh, large code file here you just need to copy all of the code just click on uh, ctrl a and ctrl c to copy all of the code very easily okay so or you can also copy from here like this way all right so after that uh, paste it here all right and click on save so you can see uh, GTM uh, there is a uh, showing to play, replace the GTM but we don't need to uh, replace any code here because as we already used our GTM base code on uh, theme.liquid file so we don't need to change anything here okay just click on save so we created a data layer snippet already so now we need to call this data layer snippet uh, in our theme.liquid uh, header okay so for this uh, you can see uh, in, in the guideline also I already mentioned about it you can see the screenshot as well and now we have to do our step 3 which is within the theme dot liquid layout place this below the snippet right before the closing head tag okay so just copy this uh, code from here and we need to place this uh, before closing head tag okay so click on the theme dot liquid file again 
so just click on the uh, head uh, to find out the closing head tag and you can also find using ctrl f okay so here is you can see our closing head tag uh, before the closing head tag you just paste, paste the code nicely you can see i already pasted the code after that click on save all right so our step 3 is also completed you can see the screenshot as well so now step 4 we need to um, place a code on the um, where uh, we need to place a code uh, in the check for checkout okay so uh, without applying this code it will not work for uh, you can't uh, track any purchase data that's why we need to use this code as well so let's do this um, for this you need to we need to exit from there and go to the checkout from setting i already provide all of the uh, guidelines here go to setting checkout order processing and we need to paste the code on a script additional uh, there will be a box for this okay let's do this okay so from here click on setting and here's the option checkout click on it after that scroll down scroll down and you can put a store scroll down a little bit you can see in our uh, order status page there is an option additional script okay we need to paste the code here okay so for this code i also uh, provided you the code here you just need to uh, click on it check out data layer and it will redirect you uh, any new doc file where you will get the code So uh, press Ctrl A and Ctrl C or you can also copy from here. So you need to copy all of the code. So after applying you, you can see there is a um, uh, I already marked here. You just need to replace the GTM code according to your tag manager GTM base code. Okay. We need to replace this. Okay. Let's paste it here after that we will replace it very easily. So I just uh, replace the code here and after that uh, scroll up and just change the GTM code from here. Okay. So I'll just copy the GTM code from here and we'll paste it here. Just change the GTM base code. That's it. Okay. After that, click on save. All right. So our step 4 is also completed and you can see replace the gtm base code from above i already did it you have to replace the gtm code from there okay so uh, step 4 is completed now we need to test this uh, so, so that uh, our code is working or not okay so our data layer is working or not so let's check it right now all right so after applying the code uh, we just uh, cl click on submit and let's publish it from here and continue okay after that uh, go to workspace but make make sure that whenever we apply the code we have to uh, paste the code exactly without uh, any space whenever we apply any code like uh, the, there's an option to like uh, we need to create a snippet like data layer all pages whenever we uh, create a snippet we, sh we have to paste data layer all pages but make sure that there is no any additional space here because if you apply any if you is there any space or any other text uh, then the code will not work so you have to paste exactly the same thing so you just have to copy from there and paste it on your uh, Shopify backend all right so as you can see okay let's preview the store from here uh, so that our uh, data layer is working or not so connect from here uh, as you can see our tag manager is connected so okay let's uh, visit the store and uh, try to purchase a product let's view this product okay so let's see let's go to the tag manager to see it's working or not right so you can see home page is as you can see home page we can see the home page and whenever we click on home page uh, from the home page and data layer as you can see there are lots of data and all of them are according to geo 4 schema okay so let's uh, click on add to cart 
uh, remove from the card to see that's always working or not uh, as you can see all of uh, events are fired here as I, I, I just as I just removed uh, a product from the add to cart as you can see remove from cart is already showing here and you can see there is all of the data as you can see also which product I just removed uh, from the cart you can see women's cute cartoon print that's the product name I just removed from the cart okay so let's do this again and let's uh, purchase the product to see our uh, product is working or not so if I purchase any product from here uh, like this one click on it view this product after that click on add to cart so you will get whatever you do on the whenever whenever your visitor will do anything on the on your Shopify store you will get all of the data here as I uh, as I just view a product it's look like baby teenager girl dresses so let's see you can see and view card all of our data is working perfectly wow that's great as you can see uh, the product name is here and this is the item brand everything is uh, working perfectly as you can see the product value is 31.48 it's showing in uh, different currency but th that actual product value is 31.48 it's showing in our uh, local currency that's why so let's check out the product and purchase the product to see that our purchase data layer is working or not so to complete it Okay, click on continue shopping you can see product price is 31.48 here so let's purchase this product okay click on continue to payment so I will do a purchase uh, test purchase from here okay let's start number and let's um, and click on pay now So your order is being processed yeah you can see it's showing thank you by uh, that's when I purchased the product successfully your order is confirmed so let's go to our tag manager and see that our purchase event is fired or not wow that's great as you can see our purchase event is fired here whenever we click on purchase and data layer you can see all of the data as I uh, submitted here like uh, you can see I submitted admin at gmail.com you can uh, track this data here and all of the customer details as you can see all of the customer details are here like full name as the name I submitted a few minutes ago all of the details you can see here even all of the product uh, product information the product price is 31.48 and product uh, name product image URL and product description so everything is working perfectly you can see 31.48 and 31.48 this is the product value so you can see the pro uh, the Shopify data layer is working perfectly um, using this method method and this this is the uh, complete guideline how you can set up Shopify data layer on your Shopify store so I will provide the document um, details on the how you can get the documents uh, premium documents uh, I will provide the documents details on the show, uh, video description so that you can uh, get it and you can use it alright so if you face any issue here is my contact details you can feel free to contact with me so if you face any issue I will uh, available here to help you okay so that's all for today if you found this video helpful uh, for you then please feel free to uh, subscribe my channel and like my video and share with your friends as well so that's all for today thank you so much okay bye